This Sunday's 60 Minutes has a profile of renowned paleontologist Jack Horner. He reveals a surprising and controversial discovery by his team that some say could lead to a real-life Jurassic Park. Is that a blood vessel? This is a blood vessel. You're kidding. You see the branches right there? And look at all of them. It's so consistent over and over and over again. We do this bone and it comes out and I get excited every time. 60 Minutes correspondent <laughs> Leslie Stahl is here with more. Good morning, Leslie. How are you? Good. What did they find in that dinosaur bone? Well, first you have to know that they're breaking the bones to get stuff out to look at it. So that's number one. They're deliberately breaking these bones apart. I thought that was yeah. stunning. Because usually you want to keep them intact. Well, you would think, it. but they're not. They're, they're looking in the microscope. Well, yeah, and they go through this process, and you would think there would be nothing left. Exactly. And there's this stuff. There's this stuff, and it, it, it's flexible and pliable. And they're uh, finding that there are, as you saw in the clip, these remnants of blood vessels and maybe, maybe remnants of cells. Uh -huh. And they certainly haven't found anything like DNA, but guess what? They're now looking. Now that they've seen <laughs> this, they're now going back and, and re-examining old specimens and right. things they found. And the day is Mary Schweitzer was his colleague on this Yes, thing, it, it, she's of, a yeah. paleontologist at right. uh, North Carolina State. Right. And this guy, this Horner guy, this is the paleontologist right, who was the model for the paleontologist character in Jurassic, Jurassic. Park. He's the real Alan Grant, and right. he took me around and showed me things that is such a knockout. You know, anybody who's listening, if you have a child, if you know a child, if you have a grandchild, <laughs> bring them to watch this. They will be so blown away, but so will you. Yeah. I couldn't believe anything I was seeing and watching. But dinosaur teeth, and you learn about how the teeth grew. They showed me how to tell a dinosaur bone from mm -hmm. a rock because right. they look like rocks. They look like rocks. Exactly right. like rocks. The thing that's interesting about this, if I understand this correctly, because in Jurassic Park they took those strands of DNA and then tried to then turn them into dinosaurs. And what this guy wants to do, though, is take a present-day chicken and regress it. Exactly. Back, right? Exactly. Reverse that's evolution. Because dinosaurs. Or birds are dinosaurs, mm -hmm. as he tells us. Sure. Modern explains day it. Right. Yes, and so if you take the the genetics in, if you take the embryo, and and turn off the development, right. it should revert. We'll see. <laughs> That's he, he's calling what he's hoping to have a dino chicken. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> so they really are just reptiles with feathers. I right. mean, if you, if you well, strip no, them I'm down. not even sure dinosaurs are reptiles. You right. know, we have that, well, that argument. The, well, that's but, a whole but other. But there, there, there are similarities. They, mm -hmm. they walk the same. They have mm -hmm. the same kind of feet. Right. Um, there, there's the little hands or whatever they call those things in dinosaurs. Sure. Are wings. Right. Yeah, they, yeah. they turned into wings. They're, they have the whole bones. theory that a dinosaurs chicken really had, is a T-Rex. Exactly. Right. It's well, really the same. Sort of. Right. They had wishbones. Dinosaurs had wishbones. That and makes the, me uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> well, you how, could how far talk off about does that he wish. think this is? Like his dino chicken goal. He keeps telling me not that far away. Really? Really. He's, t he's so saying So will there he, be a we'll park? Does he want to open, open a park with dinosaurs <laughs> in it and some exotic island someplace and have no, horrible things happen? I guess what I wanted to know is, are you going to have to have a leash on your dino chicken? <laughs> <laughs> what size dino chicken are we talking about? Will it yeah. taste like chicken? Oh my gosh. Oh, Is there skepticism? Because you're not supposed to find anything in bones that old. Well, exactly. Who, you, the rule, the scientific rule, is that you wouldn't find anything like DNA um, that would survive a million years. Right. And these things are 68 million, 80 million years old. And they're finding, as I said, flexibility. They're mm -hmm. finding the remnants of blood vessels and things like that. So they are uh, facing a lot of skepticism. They're facing controversy. But as they keep replicating their experiments right. over and over, they're bringing more and more people around to think that they, uh, it's right to pursue this. Hmm. It's right to, to keep going. It sounds like a perfect 60 minute story. I know. <laughs> you know what? It is, it is not just about the blood vessels. That's mm -hmm. not, that's only part of the story. How they found this, what they call B-Rex, Bob Rex, <laughs> how they found it is mm -hmm. astonishing. Yeah. And then the breaking apart to see what's inside. All of it is just uh, 
Uh, Am I hyping too much? No, we can't wait to see it. I'm sure it'll <laughs> live I'm up hyping, to the hype. He says just a little too <laughs> no, much. I don't think. I'm, over, I'm not overselling. Uh, I'm not. It's good when a reporter is that excited about I'm her story. Right. I'm Leslie, great to see you. Great. Thank you. Leslie used to sit on this couch, but there was no couch back then. There was no couch. Just wait, sit down. Wait, you, you can't you leave can, us hanging. Well, you can see this story and much more on 60 Minutes this <laughs> Sunday night at 7, 6 Central, right here on CBS.